In this question, we have to solve cos of theta minus 40 is equal to 0.98 in the interval 0 to is less than the theta is less than 360 degrees. It says give your solutions correct to one decimal place where appropriate. <laughs> so what we do here, first thing we've got to do is we'll just write down our equation. It was cos of theta minus 40 is equal to 0 0.098 and it was on 0 is less than theta is less than 360 degrees. Now the first thing you'll notice is my angle is theta minus 40. So we're going to change instead of our, our the middle bit of our inequality being theta, it's going to be theta minus 40. So to get from theta to theta minus 40, you take away 40. So that 0 minus 40 is minus 40. 360 minus 40 is just 320 uh, degrees. So that's the first thing we do. Next thing we're going to do is our basic angle. To get your basic angle, how you get it is cos to the minus 1 of zero, um, 0 0.98. Now, it would even, even if this bit here had been minus 0 0.98, you would still be doing cos to the minus 1 of 0 0.98. The minus will come in later when we look at our cast diagram. So we'll do now look at our cast diagram. For your cast diagram, just mark it on. The only thing I mark on is the 0. That's C, A, S, and T. And what that means here, all or everything is positive. Here, only the sine is positive. Here, only the tan is positive. And here, only the cos is positive. So if we look back at our original equation, so our original equation was cos of theta minus 40 is positive at 0.98. And cos is positive in here when everything's positive and in here. And then the basic angle, which I forgot to say, if we do cos to the minus 1 of that thing, cos to the minus 1 of 0.98, we will get 11.5 degrees. That's the one decimal place. So we put 11.5 degrees in here and 11.5 degrees in here. Now we look at our range, and our new range is minus 40, is less than theta minus 40, is less than 320. So here, the first one, that will be theta minus 40, going around the positive way, is equal to positive 11.5 degrees, or theta minus 40 is equal to minus 11.5 degrees. So then we can just say then theta is equal to, bring the 40 across and add 40 to both of these, 40 plus 11.5 is going to be 51.5 degrees, and also uh, 40, plus the minus 11.5 will work out to be, and that will be 28.5 degrees. And that should be our answers to one decimal place. Okay, we're gonna just check one of these. I'm gonna just check this one just to show you that it works. So I'm gonna put this back into the original equation up here. So I'm just gonna say check. Now you don't have to do this in exam. Certainly don't write it down. Uh, but that is cos of 28.5 minus 40. And press equals, I'm going to do that with my calculator, cos 28.5 minus 40, close my bracket, press equals, and it gives me 0.97992, so the two, de so the two decimal places, it would be the point, uh, it would be the point 0.98 as required. So you can see that check works. So I'm happy with those two answers, 51.5 and 28.5, and they're both to one decimal place.